Got some big education news. Republicans propose breaking up Milwaukee public schools, and they want to expand school voucher eligibility to all students. MPS is the largest district in the state, has roughly 70,000 students. Jason Calvey looks at what the bills just shared with lawmakers this afternoon could mean for you. Jason? Hey, Ben. Yeah, the Republican proposal would allow any student in Wisconsin to be eligible for those school vouchers. Right now, there are income limits. So a married couple with two kids in Milwaukee, they can make up to $86,000 right now and be eligible for those vouchers for their students. This would extend it to every student. Republicans also want to dismantle MPS. The Republican plan to break up Milwaukee public schools into four to eight smaller districts. The performance of Milwaukee public schools impacts the entire state. It's a workforce issue. It's an economic issue. And just for far too long, we've sent billions of dollars into a system that just doesn't work. We have to have a, a discussion about whether Milwaukee public schools and the school board is simply too big to ever succeed. MPS board president Bob Peterson gives it a failing grade. I think it's a recipe for chaos. I think it's going to be a disaster for the families and students of our, uh, our MPS. Right now, their families are accustomed to choosing their school anywhere in this, within the city limits. We have a variety of schools, largest footprint of Montessori schools in the nation. Peterson says having a large district allows them to better manage logistics. Well, there's an economy of scale, though. I mean, we successfully feed, uh, transport, give social services to m tens of thousands of kids. We're going to break this down into smaller groups. We're going to have four different departments or eight different departments uh, dealing with food services, eight different departments trying to coordinate transportation. That's insane. CJ Safer of the Institute for Reforming Government backs the breakup. Taking Milwaukee public schools, splitting into smaller districts that will increase accountability and also bring a, build a closer relationship between parents, teachers and the administration. A recent poll commissioned by the City Forward Collective finds 29% of parents rate the MPS board as good or excellent. So a lot of unsatisfied parents in the city. Now, MPS's board president says if people are unsatisfied, they should elect new members. He says that's democracy. We're live at the MPS administration building. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. And speaking of democracy, Jason, they would need the governor to sign off on this, right? That's right, and he's likely to veto these proposals, which we just mentioned. All right, Jason Calvary reporting live for us.